السلام علیکم اینڈ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی آر ہیو ود نیو لیکچر اینڈ دیٹ از لیکو پوائس سو ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس دا پروسیز آف لیکو پوائس وٹ از ایگزیکٹ ڈیفینیشن آف لیکو پوائس دیئر اسٹیجز اے گرینڈ پوائس اینڈ گرینڈ پوائس مائی نیم از تنویر تارا اینڈ آئی ایم لیکچرار ایٹ سرحد یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ انفارمیشن ٹیکنالوجی سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ While uh, learning hematopoiesis or leukopoiesis or uh, erythropoiesis or likely thrombopoiesis, we cannot ignore this picture because this is a very basic picture and here we have pluripotent stem cell as we have discussed earlier in erythropoiesis that uh, from here uh, erythrocytes are developed uh, through the process of erythropoiesis and here platelet while we have now five type of cells and that are granulocytes and agranulocytes granulocytes are those cells which have granules and agranulocytes are those cells which lack granules in their cytoplasm so uh, we have uh, two type of uh, lymphocyte we have two type of uh, agranulocyte and uh, that are lymphocyte and uh, monocyte this is lymphocyte where monocyte is here Uh, so this is a granulopoiesis while uh, granulopoiesis is for neutrophil eosinophil and uh, basophil the exact de definition of leukopoiesis uh, leukopoiesis is a form of hematopoiesis in which white blood cells that are leukocyte are formed in bone marrow located in bones in adults and hemopoietic organ in the fetus so we can define leukopoiesis as it is the proliferation maturation and then differentiation of all the white blood cell through an organized process is known as leukopoiesis uh, remember that uh, whenever we are going to teach uh, leukopoiesis uh, we must have two thing in our mind that Uh, there are two type of cell on the basis of granules and uh, these granules are basically uh, present in neutrophil eosinophil and basophil so that process in which neutrophil eosinophil and basophil are formed is known as granulopoiesis and that process uh, in which lymphocyte and monocyte form is known as a granulopoiesis where the production of lymphocyte is specifically known as lymphopoiesis and this production of monocyte is specifically known as monocytopoiesis or monopoiesis where neutrophil eosinophil and basophil are formed through a very organized process and that is called granulopoiesis you can see uh, this diagram that uh, this is granulocytopoiesis or uh, it's also called granulopoiesis so we have first the myeloblast Uh, then myeloblast mature and it differentiate into a next cell that is known as promyelocyte then promyelocyte move forward and mature into meta uh, into myelocyte and uh, then metamyelocyte then it become a band cell and then it become a mature neutrophil so here you can see that uh, all the three cell that are eosinophil basophil and uh, uh, neutrophil they are the having the same staging system uh, like uh, if we look toward eosinophil so it's the same cell myeloblast then promyelocyte then here we have eosinophilic myelocyte eosinophilic metamyelocyte eosinophilic band cell or it's also called stab cell and then it become a mature eosinophil likely basophil also uh, mature in the same process so we have six stages for uh, granulopoiesis for each cell that the first one is myeloblast promyelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte uh, stab cell or it's also called band cell and then mature granulocyte here you can see that uh, this is the process of granulopoiesis Uh, this is a pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell then it uh, divide into two form that is lymphoblastic and myeloblastic so this is lymphob uh, this is myeloblastic stage 
and then uh, myeloblast, promyelocyte and same here we have granulocyte. These are the shape of the cell or morphology of uh, the cell. We can see this on under the microscope. So this is myeloblast, large cell having cytoplasm, uh, NC ratio is high, uh, open chromatin, we can see nucleoli over here, then it to mature into promyelocyte and uh, then here we have myelocyte, the nucleus is going toward intended to one, uh, is going to eccentric and uh, here intendation is start at the stage of metamyelocyte, uh, here these intendation come more prominent and it become band or stab and then this uh, nucleus is going to become lobulated and uh, here we have uh, three or four lobes here uh, like eosinophil have two lobes and uh, neutrophil have three to five lobes so these are the six stages of uh, lycopoid lifespan of WBCs so neutrophil uh, having life of 2 to 5 days uh, eosinophil have 7 to 12 days basophil having 12 to 15 days uh, monocyte having 2 to 5 days and lymphocyte half a day but remember that uh, this is the normal lifespan of WBC whenever they are activated so they have ear to ear uh, survival and uh, lymphocyte like whenever they are mature into mammary cell so they are present in the body uh, while neutrophil can also uh, fight against the bacterial uh, so they are activated and uh, basophil whenever it mature uh, and it moves toward the uh, uh, tissues so it's also called mast cell uh, similarly uh, monocyte also become mature and uh, it uh, in the tissue it's known as uh, macrophage this is formation of monocyte as we have discussed that we have only six stages for the leukopoiesis and uh, and leukopoiesis we have six stages for granulopoiesis uh, here this is monocytes and uh, the formation of monocyte is known as uh, monocytopoiesis uh, here we have the same hemocytoblast then myelite stem cell remember that uh, my monocytes are formed from the myelite stem cell and uh, then this one is monoblast then it's mature into pro monocyte and then it become mature monocyte and then whenever it goes to world tissue with a, a, under a certain process then it is known as a macrophage uh, here we can summarize our stages that in granulopoiesis we have six stages that are blast then myelocyte then metamyelocyte uh, then we have band and uh, finally we have mature granulocyte uh, while in monopoiesis we have only three stages that is monoblast promonocyte and then we have mono uh, promonocyte and then we have monocyte similarly in lymphoblastic series we have only three stages like lymphoblast pro lymphocyte and then we have lymphocyte so we can conclude here that granulocytopoiesis having six stages and uh, a granulopoiesis having only three stages now you can uh, think that why monocytopoiesis or lymphocytopoiesis having a less number of stages than the granulocytopoiesis it's because in granulocytopoiesis we have also having the maturation of granules we have also appearing uh, the granules that is primary granules secondary granules or large granules or small granules that's why it has uh, six stages uh, while on the other hand uh, a granulopoiesis lack granulocytes that's why it has only three stages so this is a monoblast and it is a large cell having 15 to 25 micron uh, nucleus is oval shape and uh, it having cytoplasm without granules or sometime it has granules and uh, it uh, differentiate to the pro monocyte that is next stage to uh, mono monoblast monocyte and uh, it's divide twice in the course of the development into the monocyte uh, it is uh, smaller than the previous stage and uh, it has somewhat irregular 
uh, nucleus then we have final step uh, final stage and this is uh, monocyte it is the largest stem it is the largest cell and it has irregular nucleus uh, its uh, cytoplasm is uh, uh, like bluish gray and it's a mature monocyte into the bloodstream then it circulates and then uh, whenever it enter connective tissue where they mature into uh, macrophages this is a monocyte an active monocyte on a peripheral smear and uh, it has also vaculation bluish grayish cytoplasm with irregular nucleus so this is uh, the process of uh, uh, lymphocyte production and uh, this is known as uh, lymphopoiesis uh, you remember that uh, it is also a granulocytopoiesis this cell is a granulocyte and it having only three stages as like uh, of a monocyte so we have only three staging there it has a lymphoblast then pro lymphocyte and then we have lymphocyte and whenever it become activated it also goes in uh, the formation of plasma cell so summarizing uh, this lecture uh, we conclude that uh, during the study of leukopoiesis, uh, we have two type of uh, formation. One is known as granulocytopoiesis, and the other one is known as agranulocytopoiesis. Granulocytopoiesis is the formation of those uh, those cells which having granules, their cytoplasm, and they are neutrophil, basophil, and eosinophil. Where the formation of agranulocytopoiesis is that formation in which those cells which having uh, which do not have uh, new, uh, granules in their cytoplasm uh, is called agnocytopoiesis and that are lymphopoiesis and monocytopoiesis likely um, uh, granulocytopoiesis we have six stages uh, like uh, erythropoiesis uh, in erythropoiesis we have six stages that is uh, proerythroblast basophilic erythroblast polychromatophilic erythroblast then orthochromatophilic erythroblast reticulocyte and then red blood cell in uh, leukopoiesis where in a granulocytopoiesis we have uh, monoblast then we have promonocyte and then we have monocyte uh, similarly in lymphoblastic series we have lymphoblast pro lymphocyte and then we have a uh, lymphocyte uh, similarly we have uh, uh, granulocytopoiesis so we have also six stages here and uh, that is uh, uh, blast cell pro myelocyte myelocyte metamyelocyte and then band cell and uh, then we have a granulocyte so it's all uh, enough for today and uh, inshallah in next lecture we will discuss uh, the morphology of uh, myelobla uh, myeloblast that is uh, promyelocyte how it's look what is the morphology uh, which type of granule they have and what are granules and uh, then we will discuss the regulation of leukopoiesis how lymphoblast formed why from the hemopoietic stem cell lymphocytes are formed and how erythropoiesis is occur and how Met, uh, how uh, megakerocyte occur. So this is about the regulation of uh, regulation of hematopoiesis. Inshallah, in next lecture uh, we will discuss that. So thank you very much. Keep watching the videos. Thank you very much.